Hi, Marty here, uh, VK4 Kilo Charlie of Mad Dog Coils. Here to introduce a new product. It's a remote relay switcher, switching in and out different bands on your Mad Dog coil. It's called the Lazy Dog. Let's have a closer look. So here's the Lazy Dog. It's basically a circuit board with RF relay coils on it. And um, the input to those coils comes from the red marked banana plug socket uh, on your coil. And it doesn't matter whether you've got the old traditional legacy 40 or 80 coil or one of the new uh, little dogs or big dogs coils. It, it, they will all function with this remote relay switcher. So basically we take the, the RF coming out of the uh, center pin of the coax, of course, goes to the red. The shield of the coax goes to the um, ground wire uh, socket. So that's just got the normal ground wires out. But if this one is the hot that's coming out and it then gets switched by the relays to these output banana plugs. Now you've got five relays. At the moment, I've got four of them uh, working. I, on the number four, I don't have a wire coming out. And that's because I'm using a little dog. And with the little dog, wow, probably four relays would be the absolute max. And that's true for the 40, the old legacy 40 as well. And even then, you're probably pushing it um, with the whip just that far up. I've got the bypass, the top one going to the bypass. That whip is tuned for 17 meters. The second one is not in. The third one, this one here, I've got tuned for 20 meters. The second relay, I've got tuned for 30 meters. And the first relay I've got tuned for 40 meters. Um, if I had that tuned for 15, and the and and the whip down a little bit to make it resonant on quarter wave 15 then i would probably lose i would definitely lose the 40 meter band i wouldn't be able to get down low enough so if you did 17 20 30 40 that would be the max you could do on a little dog uh, using four relays but i would recommend with a little dog probably only going three relays usage that way you could put your whip up a little bit further only have two collars on instead of the third. Use your bypass. Oh, motorbike going past. Yeah, that's what happens in state forests. So use your bypass for your top band, which might be 20 meters, and then have a 30 meter and a 40 meter. You'd get probably a little bit better results on the SWR as well. So with my SWR readings here, I'm getting really excellent results on all band, all the, this, the uh, 17 meter, 20, 30, but a little high on the 40. And maybe that's the way I've just got my um, ground plane laid out, but I'm um, getting around about two is to one on there. And every other one is below 1.3 is to one. But um, when I did some testing at home, if I only had two collars on and the whip up a little bit further, uh, which gives it, um, a, a bit more whip for 40 meters then I was getting a really good um, SWR for 40 so I would recommend for the little dog no um, only switching in and out three relays and then for the big dog because you got more coil you could certainly um, you know use all five relays if you desired to but the coil the the remote switching box called the lazy dog it will be supplied with all five relays. Um, and then with regards to the wires, uh, they will be supplied in a separate package and it will be up to the user to cut them to length and just solder, solder them in. This board, just four tiny screws and this board comes out of the enclosure and um, you can then cut the, the lengths of the wire to how you wanna use them and um and then just uh, solder them in okay so this has to be switched and i'll show you the the switching unit in a minute 
but it just takes a cat five or cat six cable that goes into the bottom socket there there is a lid that slides in here that covers it all but um especially if you're in the sun and if you're putting um a fair bit of power through this then you might want to just open the lid let the air circulate throughout the relays this is rated to 100 watts sideband 50 watts morse or digital let's go back and have a look at the switching unit okay so here's the switching unit basically i'm getting uh, power from power pole connection um, you'll need to supply your own um, power source but basically there's a power power pole socket that this power pole just plugs into and on this side we have the cat5 or cat6 cable that goes to the remote unit marty back i'm at a uh, poda park it's a threefer national park fisheries protected area and a marine park and uh it's a it's a wet day it's uh drizzling with rain and um i just wanted to show you uh what's happening here with regards to my setup with the little dog and the lazy dog so we've got a lazy dog out here that's got three wires connected in position one position two position three as i mentioned in my user guide the little dog is weather resistant but not weather proof so light rain like this it's fine um the only holes in the case really are where the uh, wires come out but as long as you kind of got them sloped down so that the water won't run back into the case it's um fine for this amount of rain got the uh little dog there two collars and the bypass point tuned for uh, 40 20 and 17 meters i've got about a, a two about a three meter military whip happening there all on a tripod with some ground radials counterpoise radials out and so we're going to do a poda here um so on my control box positions one three and five select in wires one two three so position one three and five on the control box and so we'll see how we go today with our poda it's a wet poda but uh i enjoy poda anytime so um let's see how we go with the little dog and the lazy dog but that's just showing you the uh the setup here oh one thing i forgot to mention here is this is just connected on via velcro so um yeah just velcro holds it in place so what do you get when you order the lazy dog kit well you get the relay board or the relay enclosure within the relay enclosure is the relay board and to open the enclosure press down with your thumb on the lid and slide out that way and then you can see that the, the board is in there screwed in with um, four little screws to remove the board it's just a matter of removing those four little screws and then you can um, solder the link wires the red one for the input side and then the five black ones are the output wires they can be cut to length to your application the end stripped and then soldered to the relay board uh, you also get of course the controller unit which uh, zero is the off position and then positions one through five uh, that's connected via an ethernet cable cat 5e or cat 6 uh, which is user supplied uh, it's powered by power pole connection uh, the lead to power this is also need to be supplied by the user 12 volts plus or minus a couple of volts you get a sticker and of course the user guide which is also available electronically on the maddogcoils.com.au website so there you have it that's the uh, lazy dog kit if you are interested in this product 
I'd encourage you to go to the Mad Dog Coils website, download the user guide, read through it, and ensure that this product will meet your needs before you purchase. So there you have it, the lazy dog, for us lazy folk that just don't wanna get up and just um, plug in and plug out the standard link cable that comes with the coils. Um, we might be just set up in the car and just wanna uh, pre-configure everything so that it's ready to go and then just use the switching unit between bands from the car and um, have the antenna outside or on the roof on a magnet mount. Uh, there is a, might be looking at a possibility of actually making a, a proper mobile version of the coil with the switching, but that might be a little ways off yet. But um, yeah, so like I said, it will um, work on the old legacy products, the 80 and 40, and also the new uh, uh, little dog and uh, big dog coils. Thanks for watching and uh, appreciate uh, all, all of our customers and how well the coils are selling all around the world, sold into uh, many, many countries now. So it's been a remarkable success. Thanks for your custom.